Hi, today I'm going to show you how I turned my father's vintage grinder into my sander and burnisher. Did a little research online, um, couldn't find the parts that people recommended, and I found my own parts and I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I already removed some of the screws out of here, so just to save time, but there um, were a few of these little teeny screws. And you just take those off. Oopsie. And you just keep removing. I'm going to do this side. showed you how to take this apart I'm going to show you how to put the parts on and what parts to buy and explain a little bit about why I bought these parts so the first thing is the sanding drum which I got from Nick Master um, online and it's a three inch drum and it has a um, thread it's threaded so it goes on to the end and it's the same size as whatever this thing is called these around this <laughs> um so if you know what that is just write it in the comments um you do have to be concerned a bit about the size of the threads so that it will thread right on and if you can notice there are three one inch size sanding sleeves what i did was i bought 80 grit I bought 120 grit and I bought 320 grit. So they're all one inch size. They slide right on here and I have them um, set up so that I can run the strapping down each one. So then, that's it. So easy. Tighten it up with a bolt thingy. Excuse me. Again, I don't know the names of things. Um, so that's from McMaster. This is from Pro Edge Burnishers. He makes these wood burnishers with a coupling that just slides right on to the end. And with a little Allen wrench, gets tightened. So that's it. So I'm going to pause and then I'll... Do a test run because I just got this burnisher in the mail today. So let's try it out. Okay, so I have a little test piece of leather. I beveled the edges with a number three beveler. Just wet, wet it. Um, we'll give it a go. I am putting very little pressure on. And I just kind of ran it each side, front, back, center. I gotta tell you, when I first tried the sanding drum, I must have sanded off a good eighth of an inch off my leather. And there was almost nothing left. So very little pressure. And even pressure. It's already feeling really nice. already feeling really nice we're gonna run it through the burnisher parts I'm just gonna spin this so you can see that and okay let's give this a go 
Now I am applying more pressure here. And what's really nice about um, the burnisher is there's all these different, so oh my God, this is so nice. <laughs> there's all these different size grooves that you can use uh, depending upon what you're doing and the project you do and the size of the leather you're using. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could have, actually, I could go like that over here, I suppose. rough edges on this end. I'm just amazed. Like this is just unbelievable. I cannot believe how much easier this is than the old way. The old way was by hand three different grits of sandpaper. Craziness. So, yeah. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's so smooth and I barely did anything. <laughs> This is awesome. Oh my goodness. So I'll tell you, the parts probably came to about $100, $110. The burnisher was $58.99, I think, with, and that included free shipping. Um, McMaster was, I think, but somewhere between $50 and $60. And um, the thing about them is they don't tell you what the shipping charge is until they send it out and then you get billed for the whole amount. But it was, I think it came to about $14 for shipping and it was worth it. They shipped it out the very next day and I, I had it um, within like two or three days. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so that's how I did it. Thanks to my dad. Good luck. I hope you have much success if you do try this. Uh, again, I'll put all the information with the parts and the part numbers in the comments and in the description. Okay, thanks. Peace out.